and welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. Welcome to the Pratt Cave. Got some new products for you. The first one which I want to talk about is Zero Citrus from Garage Therapy. Now, I've got Decon Shampoo, and you're probably thinking, why have they released a citrus? Well, it's kind of to fill the gap. It's to answer all the questions that have been asked. Um, and they've released one, and it's highly dilutable. I can tell you more about the dilution rates with that later on. But you can use this in a pump spray. You can use it in a, a lance uh, with your pressure washer, and you can use it in a trigger spray. More about that later on. They've also released this, which is version two of their wheel shampoo. Slightly darker in color, I feel. And this is supposed to be improved and stronger. We also have this. When this was posted on my Instagram, somebody said, what's that? WSR, water spot remover. Yep. Up until now, I've been using Kosh Chemi FSC and I've got an auto glance one which with news in and they've been pretty effective to a degree. Now the car I'm gonna be using this on is my mate's Road Track Mini. And I put pictures of this on Instagram and I got a message immediately saying, how can that be making 340 brake horsepower? Well, I'm gonna put the spec list underneath this video and you'll know why. Change of shorts, mm, very, very quick, scary quick. So that's water spot remover, gonna be using that on the Mini, on the glass, on the roof. And this, this is called Ricochet. Managed to pick this up from Waxstock. Had a fantastic time at Waxstock this year. If you've ever been to Waxstock or haven't been to Waxstock or want to go to Waxstock, just book the tickets. When the tickets get released for next year, fantastic time. We're a huge part of the show and thanks to the guys this year, put on an amazing show. One of the stands which was there was Carscope UK and this is called Ricochet Gloss Locker. This is a sealant. Now they say on a fully prepped car, and I mean a decon car and a machine polished car, up to a year well, that's what they're saying this car is going to get quite a bit of prep but not going to be a machine polish it's going to be interesting to see how this goes on the panels so that's that and then there's other bits and pieces here which you've probably seen before on the channel this is glaco this is the decleaner the glass wind uh, water topper upper so get your words right paul uh, water repellent glass uh, sealant cleaner all in one wow that's a big product and also, my old favourite, CarPro Pearl as well. I've been using that. And then there's some other bits, splatterings down there. Anyway, enough splattering talk. Uh, go and grab yourself a nice brew, cup of tea, cup of coffee. Uh, stay on the soft stuff because you're going to need it. Or is it the other way around? You're going to need a strong drink. I'm not too sure. Anyway, roll the video. Here we go then. It's heaven and hell fallout time. Spoiler alert, Paul. Yeah. This has not actually been cleaned properly since Sean's had the car. You're probably thinking, well, he's a petrol head. Why hasn't he cleaned it? Well, he's been concentrating on things like the chassis and the engine. And yes, that is rust around the rear light surrounds. Apparently, minis, this is a common problem. You can, of course, replace those panels. So interestingly enough, the chassis has been fully rust treated. And he's super, super clean. Side skirts have been replaced. These were actually replaced the night before, hence the color difference. Wow. The original ones were scratched a bit and damaged. So inside we've got a safety devices roll cage. We've got a lovely dashboard with that glorious gear shifter. That is not a sequential box, believe it or not. And underneath here, it's not just a case of bolt on goodies. That is a fully forged race engine. On the front, we've got bug splats galore, as you'd expect. And no, that is not the original bonnet scoop. So we've got rim mats all of the day. Protect your drive and protect your knuckles. Get yourself some rim mats. First two products. But before we even lay any products on the car, now, not everybody does this. I've been watching some YouTube content lately and not everybody rinses tires and arches. They just go straight in with the wheel cleaners or the fallout removers. I've seen that before. And they don't do any of this. I happen to do this because it's just force of habit and it seems to get me the best results, to be honest with you. And this is the Zero. Zero Decon Shampoo. You can use this as a multi-purpose cleaner. This thing does pretty much everything. We've got that fairly strong in there. One to ten. Strong old stuff, that. 1 to 10, 1 to 8, something like that. But it's strong. 
I should know. I clean our shower with it. Yes, believe it or not, you can use it in the house. So V2 wheel shampoo. 25 mil in your IK foamer and you're good to go. So what have they done to this? Well, apparently they've made it stronger to the version one. I happen to be the owner of version one. I use it on the Skoda on my rims and it works very, very well. So initially, I thought, yeah, all going really, really well and it does clean. I can feel it doing something, but I can also feel something else underneath the detailing brush and that is the embedded fallout in between the spokes. This was nasty. So no reflection on the wheel shampoo. You can use it for maintenance washes and you'll see what it can do on the rears in a moment. But I'm going to have to step this up. So I decided to break out the fallout remover, the Zero Iron Oxide. Nice one, Paul. You just got your lens wet. So that was the hit from the wheel shampoo. Yeah, it's good, but look at that fallout. Nasty stuff. So we're going to apply this and then we're going to move on to the rear wheel. Now give it loads and loads of dwell time. It's a gel-like formula so it can get right in there and it'll start eating away at that horrible, nasty brake dust. Thanks to the Brembo pads on the front. So same process. Use a zero. Fantastic all-purpose cleanup. And there's an even better shampoo. So after rinsing these down, much better result because I haven't got all that bonded contamination. And yes, I followed up the rears with the same process. So this was the front after about 10 minutes. Ugh, horrendous. So these were so bad, I actually hit these twice. I hit the front wheels twice with the iron oxide, the fallout remover. They aren't 100%, but they are a hell of a lot better than what they were. Moving on to the pre-wash stage. Now, this is Zero Citrus. So start by making this a lot weaker than I did. You can start as little as 1 to 20. I think on the day, it was something like 1 to 8. You need to watch this video to the end because we're going to be discussing stuff at the end. I like used to in the old days. Yes, I'm back in the Pratt Cave with the summaries. I know lots of people mention that in the comment section. They want the old videos back, so you've got them back. So we're going to go around the entire car with this, including the roof and the bonnet. And we're going to let this dwell. Probably the worst part about this car is the rear, the dirty back end, rear end. Shoot it right up there, because that's where all the junk sits underneath your number plate lights. So we gave this a good 10 minutes, and these were the results. Bye-bye, bugs. Off you go, go on, jog on. Yes, I go bottom to top. A huge argument's going to erupt in the comment section. Remember, I want to see where I've been. If I go from the top down, all it's going to do is just run the chemical off. You use your power washer as a tool. That's why I go from the bottom to the top. Bye! So after letting this actually physically dry out, because this gives you the best 50-50, these are the results. So the panel's not wet. Actually let this dry out. I went around the side of the car and started doing that.
Be careful with that rust. Ooh, watch it. So while I'm doing the pre-wash, I'm looking for tar as well. What's left on the panels? Now, interestingly enough, not a lot. Decon. Back with this. We're going to use this in the Lance. 100 mil in my Arva Premium Lance. And the sun decided to come out. Not a great deal of heat in that sun, because obviously I live in Great Britain. But we're going to use this as a traditional shampoo. And why do we coat the panels? Because it cools the panels down if there is any heat. Believe it or not, there wasn't a lot. It makes for a much better wash experience. And anything left in that lance, that is not going to go to waste. And we're not sure on what's on the car. There was a little bit of beading going on. Someone's been using a QD or something on it. But we want to get rid of that, hence using the Decon shampoo. That will strip the remainder of the LSP. There you go, waste not, want not, chuck it in your bucket. So being 10 foot six, I can get to the roof, it's nice and easy. Six foot four and a half, in me Crocs. And yes, I can reach across, yes, I can do the entire windscreen. Thank goodness for long arms. If you haven't used Decon shampoo, I would get some. It's not just a great car shampoo, it does everything. Well, not everything, you can't wash up with it, obviously. You can clean the shower though, I've done that. I've actually cleaned the shower with it. It's all right, my wife doesn't watch this. My pet hate is missing underneath the number plate lights. Yeah. So while we've got the Decon shampoo in the pump spray, we're just going to treat the Pushu end, twin exit pipes. I'm going to go in with a wheel woolly and just get rid of any junk off of here, because I noticed they were pretty grubby. I'm going to come back to those later on. So a quick rinse, and then we're going to move on to the next stage. So this has actually, actually had, put your teeth in Paul, new rear arches, hence it beading. Those were in a pretty poor state apparently, but we are going to treat those later on. Fallout, lots of it, iron oxide, right. I can't stress how quickly this happened. Look around the number plate as I'm applying it, it's starting to bleed. So I literally finished the panel, swung the camera around, and this is what I was left with. Probably the worst I've seen on a vehicle. It's pretty nasty stuff. So I'm not actually going to polish this car, but you won't believe the colour change just by doing this process. So the idea is to release all the bonded contamination from the clear coat. If you're going to polish it, you would follow up with a clay bar. This is just a chemical decon. And you'll see the difference on the panels. Yeah, pretty nasty, isn't it? So you need to thoroughly get rid of this, rinse it, rinse it, and rinse it again. Another thing on minis is that chrome trim around the top. Lots and lots of junk coming out from that, and not just all this from the panels. We were still blasting all sorts of stuff out. 
Oh, it's just so satisfying. I don't know what was going on with those door handles, but they just did not stop oozing out junk. And this was the bonnet, believe it or not. So the front clip bumper wasn't too bad, but the rest of the car was just the worst. Dreadful. Next up is the water spot remover from GT. Now, apply this and leave this for at least 30 seconds. Don't let it dry out completely, but leave it to do its thing. And this will start attacking the mineral deposits which are on the glass. Now, you might not see these with this camera, but believe it or not, they were on there. Now, when you remove this, it kind of feels a little bit greasy, a little bit tacky. So you're going to have to flip the towel over or use two towels. And you can, of course, follow this up with a glass cleaner. But it did make a huge difference. Now, Sean was watching me do this, and he couldn't believe the color change in the glass. Sadly, DSLR cameras don't really pick it up. You can't really see all the marks, but there was plenty of water marks on this. And with the black behind, they show up even more. Sean lurking in the background. He's a big chap. He's actually a powerlifter. He does strongman competitions. Beast of a man. He's a lovely chap. So on the roof now. Yeah, this is pretty nasty. You can just make it out in the middle. You're going to have to buff this. Flip the towel over. I'll use two towels. So it doesn't leave anything behind. It's not like Koshkemi FSE where it's got like a QD built in. This is purely a mineral remover, water spot remover. That's it, Paul. Reach over, get the whole thing. Once I've done that, I moved back to these. These rather scratched and tarnished exhaust tips. So this is an actual fact tar remover. Another GT product. Allow it to dwell for a bit and then go on and remove any nasty tar spots. The main thing was tarnish. And scratches. So I've got 40 wire wall with some auto sole. It's quite an aggressive metal cleaner, but it works really well. So I set to work on these. You're going to allocate yourself so much time for these jobs. If you want to go mad, you can bust out a cordless drill, and maybe buff them up. But this was all done by hand. Certainly made an improvement anyway. Next up, Ricochet. This is the last stage protection, LSP. Lightly spritz the panel, get yourself two cloths, work it in, and then literally buff this off. It's really easy stuff to use. Some sealants can be a bit finicky, can be a little bit draggy, they don't really flash off very well, but this seems to work. And what I found was the slickness on the panel. So unlike a paste wax, it won't leave any nasty bits in your body kit or your body trim around those arches. 
you can just use this. Quite difficult to see on this car, but as I look back to my right, I could see where the gloss was and I'll sort of work my way back. Do a panel at a time. Don't be tempted to do the entire car. Don't just walk around like a QD and spritz every panel. Just do a panel at a time, take your time, get yourself a knee pad and off you go. And then just do a final buff. You see it just running down the panel. Must be serious, I took my glasses off. Oh no, they're back on again. Hard to believe this is the same car. Pearl next, Car Pro Pearl. Now I'm going to use this on the trim. This stuff is great on tyres, it's great engine bays. You can use this pretty much on every single trim. I've been using this stuff for years. The one thing I've noticed about body kits on minis is a lot of trim stuff doesn't actually work. Initially, it'll, it'll go on, it'll look dark, and then it just dries out and looks all streaky and nasty. Yeah, I know they're new, the rear ones, but I'm going to protect them anyway. Next up, tyre serum. Odd stuff to use, as in colour. It's very, very strange, but this will naturally dry out and then you'll still have a decent sheen. Don't expect your tires to look like they've been driven through jam or honey. Jam? Who drives through jam? Not me. Glaco next. Decleaner. So this is the water repellent glass cleaner. Yeah, don't forget your side windows. And vision is everything. Don't do the whole windscreen. Please don't reach over. You'll ruin your t-shirt. So it's easy to use. Use it like a traditional glass cleaner. It flashes off, but however, it actually leaves this protective coating. You can, of course, use this hand in hand with the Glaco range, the glass polish, and of course, the sealant. Use it as a, as a topper, uh, upperer. Does that make sense? Anyway, talking about sense, these are the end shots. Take a gander at this lot, and then we're going to go back to the Pratt Cave for the summary. Okay, the summary. What do you want to know about the products? Did they perform? Are they worth it, these new products? Gary Serapy always, you know, they take their time with products and they don't release them just willy-nilly. This, this is the wheel shampoo. This is V2. We're going to talk about this. So is it an improvement on V1? Yes, it is. It does clean better. It's stronger. Um, just, you know, I mean, I put around about 25 mil in the IK Foma. Try it first with less... I've made a mistake with one product, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, but is it an improvement? Did it get rid of everything? Well, on the rear wheels, it worked really, really well. On the fronts, however, they were heavily contaminated. Car's got Brembo pads on it. You're talking high-speed cornering, track days, red-hot brake dust, and it sits in the wheel, and then it turns rusty, and it's blimmin' horrible. That's why I had to use lots and lots of zero iron oxide. Really, the wheels need to come off the car, so that might be for a future video. I think we should do that, but... That is an improvement. That is the wheel shampoo from the Gary Therapy boys. Now this one, this is the interesting one, and this is where I made a bit of a mistake because I used too much of it. 
and this is a zero citrus. Use this as a pre-wash, as a bug, bug splat remover. Works very, very effectively, but I made it too strong. Hands up, made a mistake, made it too strong. You can actually go right down to one to 20, one to 10. When you start doing one to eight, one to six, it is exceptionally strong and you're just gonna rip through the product. So that was my fault. That is just force of habit from using lots and lots of pre-washes, which I have to up the ante. I have to up the, up the ratios and make them stronger. So after talking to Maz, Naughty boy, made a mistake, but it works very, very well. Really impressed by that. Five liters of that on its way, hopefully. Get an order in, Paul, quick. Now, uh, this. So, we're gonna talk about the water spot remover, which is the other product. This works well. Now, it's not flawless, as in its application. It's a little bit grabby, and that's because of the detergents in it, and there's all sorts of elastic trickery in there um, but it works very very well and it's more effective than the ones I've got on the shelf so it does work um, it's just a little bit finicky once you've done the final buff get a couple of costs when you do this it's quite difficult to see on camera when you use it on the glass it actually doing anything but even my mate looked at it and just went oh wow yeah that makes a big difference and it does because you've got the black behind the glass on a mini and it does make a huge difference and on the roof water spots, hard water area, that is what it's for, removing the mineral content from the water that sat in your panels and got all crusty and horrible. So, nice win for that, for the boys. And then we've got this, over to this. This is the Ricochet from Carscope. This is the sealant. So this was very, very easy to apply. Now it's quite tricky on light colored cars, especially this Mini but you can actually visually see the gloss. Um, it goes on the panel, spreads nice and evenly. Get a couple of cloths when you're doing this. Flip them over, short pile microfibers for the win. Now, longevity wise, they've said up to a year. This car was deconned, it wasn't machine polished, but I expect to get some good months out of this and I've already been sent some pictures of it beading and all the rest of it. Now, if you're wondering why we don't put water on cars just after we've finished filming, we're still allowing it to cure. And there is directions on the back of this how long you need to leave your car in the dry. Good luck with that in the UK. So that, really enjoyed that. So a nice sexy tin, nice bottle, nice one. So zero iron oxide, I've used this before. This was a new bottle I've got, uh, thanks to Maz, uh, when I went up to a wax stock. I knew I was gonna need it for a video, but thanks to him. This stuff works really, really well. And as soon as you put it on, within the first sort of 60 seconds I'd say it started bleeding out the bodywork and this is what really makes a difference in the color of the vehicle it's actually tarnished you can see it it's like a it's like an orangey effect it's horrible but once this was done and it only really had one hit but every panel got done and it just sat on there for ages and you just power wash it off and you can see it's well it's satisfying when you do that it makes all the difference and that when you that's when you feel like you're getting somewhere with the vehicle so that check it out i'll put all the links underneath this video as always uh, the glaco i've used this before great for topping up your windscreen side windows you know above 40 miles an hour wicked stuff i've always got this in the car I actually take this on holiday and put it in the back of the skoda not that i need it because i break down but ba boom no i do use it and it's very very good and the rest of the products i think you know about car pro pearl I've used this before very very good on trims engine bays <whistles> what an engine bay Really nice stuff to use. It's quite glossy on tires. If you use that on tires, it is a bit, I've driven through a vat of honey look. And of course, tire serum, which is a dressing, yeah, it, but it is a serum. This will protect your tires, and I've used this before, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. Power wash your tires off, and they go black again. Great product. So that is it. Those are the products for this video. They'll all be linked below. Check out the podcast. Um, we record every couple of weeks. Check it out. And if you didn't manage to go to Waxstock, you can check out the Waxstock podcast. Search Spec in Paul Talk Detailing. Go to your nice, friendly platform. Spotify, Anchor FM. Yes, I said Anchor. Check that out. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Please, please keep subscribing. I do try and get videos out as much as I can. Put your thumbs up, interact, check out the back catalogue of all the videos. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.